Hey everyone, today we are testing fiddler crabs versus live shrimp, which is gonna be more successful. And I will be using shrimp, my dad will be using fiddler crabs. Let's see. Okay, generally I would say fiddler crabs are really good bait for like sheep's head. I'm not really sure what else it really catches. I I'm pretty sure it'll catch like red drum, black drum, stuff like that. I don't, I don't know about trout, but I kind of want to see what else fiddler crabs will catch. Because I've only really used them for sheep's head fishing. Um, we had a lot left over from the day before. We, went, we tried sheep's head fishing. Aaron caught a nice sheep's head, but we had a lot of bait left over. And we kind of want to try it here. Now, I know shrimp works well for everything. We all know that shrimp is one of the greatest baits um, in Florida. And I, I think shrimp is a very versatile bait around the world. But I think each, each of these baits will catch different kinds of fish, will be better for certain kinds of fish. The shrimp are really plentiful here, but I think that these fiddler crabs are really cool because you can see them everywhere at this fishing spot. They're in these little holes, and when you walk by, they scurry by so you can't really see them, but if you stay still, they'll all come out. And it's a good bait to use for right here because it occurs naturally, and it's probably something that the fish are already eating. Yeah, just hope in the size. It's kind of difficult, but on the side here, on the leg. Trying to get it in. Easy got an opening there. So I would normally double it up so it'll be more presentable to the fish. Oh. Alright, let's give me a shot. Circle hook, perfect hook. You use a circle hook? Yeah. Hook right in the corner there. What know. size? Let me see. Oh, it's size two? Yeah. Nice. Ah! Oh! That was something big! Snap my line! That must have been a really big one, huh? Mm -hmm. That snapped me like that. Yeah. yeah, what was that? I have no idea. Who's a flounder? No, that's not it. It's just a cheap rod, that's why. Darn. But nice. Got a flounder. That was on shrimp. Oh my god. How did my rod break like that though? Because you're going too high up, all the way to the I hide it. And Look, then you could have happened to anyone, man. 14 inches. Mm. Well, this is a cheapo, cheapo rod. I thought you liked this rod. I do. I like it for what it is, but uh, you know, I paid. I only paid fifty dollars for this rod. I didn't think I high sticked it that that badly. Oh. Whatever. Well, you caught a lot of fish on this. Yeah. But darn it, that means I have to go shopping for a new rod. I hate doing that. Oh yeah, I know I how have much to, you hate oh, that. Oh, I have to go out and choose a new rod. Oh, you poor thing. You know how much you hate shopping for new fishing gear. Darn it. <laughs> All right, I'm checking my deeper sonar. Just gonna check the depth here. I wanna know the depth of around here. That, I think there's a hole right there. Just kinda wanna see how deep the water is so I can set the float. I'm gonna use the deeper right here. 
I actually haven't, I've taken this out from my closet. I haven't used it for about a year and uh, it's still working. I've got a special dedicated rod for just this deeper. Let's try deeper down over there. Eleven feet. Fish holding at eight feet. Yep, look at that. That looks great. Okay, so now I'm gonna try even further. I want to see if there's any holes over there. That's the spot I always cast. Let's see how deep it is. That's only 6.9 feet. Seven feet. Oh, but there's there's stuff holding at seven feet right there. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in. It goes from seven feet to nine feet. There's a drop right here. 9.7 feet. Anything holding in there? I don't see much. Maybe some mullet. No, I don't think so. We're at 9.2 feet right here. That's pretty close in. Maybe some mullet in, at five feet. Oh, pulling you, huh? Well, I highly suggest you using circle hook. You see, at least this thread did not swallow the hook. And right on the corner, the lip is supposed to. Easy, let it go, then release it safely. Brendan, I like your sun visor mask. I like that I can see all the way through it. <laughs> I can see everything. Yeah. I think it's a flounder. Flounder? No, red. Red, huh? Nice. So that was pillow, pillow crab. Look at that. Only two dots. <laughs> Exposing the hook into the point. Let me see. Oh, yeah. So don't mess around anymore. He say, forget about it. Popped it a couple of times. Yeah, I saw that. And as soon as I started popping it, took it down. Oh, the black drum. Oh, <laughs> that's surprising. Huh. What do you know? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? You can catch all the wild boy. I catch all the wild boys. Listen to it croaking. Flounder, now the it's black drum. It's saying, visit us at senkoskipper.com. <laughs> Bye. So with the shrimp today, I caught a lot more variety of fish, I feel like. We hit a keeper flounder, black drum, we hit red drum, didn't hit a trout. But I hit a lot of different species, whereas when my dad was using crabs, he was primarily hitting red drum, and that's it. So, I hope you guys learned something. I hope that this was a little bit insightful for you. Uh, Our job here at Senko Skipper is to help as many people learn how to fish as possible. Well, uh, we do this by traveling and fishing and teaching you guys on video, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and we've got a website, senkoskipper.com, with lots of helpful tips. 
lots of products to help you beginner fishermen out. Check it out, SankoSkipper.com. See you guys next Thursday.